Hi everybody. Um, so here we are, stuck at home, uh, sharing the same experience at the same time as we are being separated, which is a strange setup. But uh, I wanted to talk to you about drawing, not really about how to draw, because I've been doing it over the last 30 years and I think I should know a little about it, but still I feel like I don't know how to do it which is why I continue doing it, to find out about how things work and um, what the relation is between what I'm doing on a paper and what I see in front of me. But what I wanted to talk to you about is what drawing can do for you uh, in a situation like this. And it doesn't really matter on the quality of the result, but just on the focus that changes totally, drastically, when you sit down with a piece of paper, any piece of paper, anything that leaves a mark, pencil, charcoal, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, the thing is that instead of trying to get out of the moment, which is, can be quite oppressive at the moment, because you can't go out, but instead of trying to flee that, uh, be more in the moment than you ever thought you could be. You know, if you sit down, if you take a look at something and you concentrate on it and you try to get some resemblance or something related to what you see on a piece of paper that really takes you out of the moment while making it more present than uh, than usual which uh, is contradictory but um, that's the big relief you can get out of drawing you concentrate on something you focus on something it must be something that you like or love or are at least uh, curious about because if not you know you, you probably just uh, end up with a bad drawing and being bored at the same time so um, well I tend to draw people so I've been drawing my family for the last three weeks um, and little sketchbook drawings you know nothing out of the ordinary nothing big you know I don't have a big project but um, it's just being there, doing it, looking at things is a precious thing. I mean, we forget about that, but the actual act of seeing and recognizing something is beautiful in itself. Um, as I said, the result of the drawing, you shouldn't expect too much from what you do on the paper, but more concentrate on what is happening within you while you're looking at things. I mean, for me, Painting my children and my wife and, and drawing them uh, has been a constant over the years, but still I think I've never had the continuity that I had over the last three weeks of just looking at them while they were watching a TV series or anything, you know, and um, that is precious in itself. You know, suddenly you don't look at your partner thinking, oh, what mood is she in today and what should we do? Can I, you know, what should we talk about? You now suddenly you, you look at her as a source of information, which is funny because it becomes a different angle, a different focus. You think like, oh, how do those eyebrows work? And where does the, uh, the eyelid double? And how, what, what, what about the exhaustion that's, shows up in her face after the days of uh, reclusion here. Um, things like that. And my kids, you know, I've seen them growing up, I've drawn them growing up, but uh, if you do that on a daily basis, it becomes a different thing because you get past the, the way you always get. When I draw them, I get some satisfaction. I say like, oh, this is a good drawing and, and that's it, I'll leave it. And the next occasion might be in a, you know, in a month's time maybe, but uh, doing it on a daily basis, suddenly I got bored with doing it the same way all the time. So I just fo tried focusing in on, on different aspects. You know, I might not start with a face, which is where you usually start and then grow out onto the page, but instead I started with an elbow or even with a foot, you know, and, and then made my way up the body and suddenly the resemblance didn't matter at all, but the drawing became more important. Things like that it can be really, really exciting. And even if you don't feel up to that, you know, um, 
if you want to draw people but you don't have that much experience, well, stick to yourself maybe. You know, get a mirror and sit down because uh, you're probably the only person who won't be offended if the drawing comes out ugly or, you know, ridiculous or funny or whatever, you know, and you might be very self-aware of a result of a drawing if it is a drawing of somebody, you know. So uh, to get rid of that, you know, just do it with yourself and, and, and look at yourself and just look at yourself without thinking that that's you. Just, you know, following forms can be a big relief in a situation like that. You don't have to get all the tragedy of, oh, what am I living in now? Uh, you don't have to get that into the drawing. Um, or you can stick to simple things, you know, anything you like. A glass of wine, before you drink it, you draw it. Uh, you know, you can get into color. You can even use the wine itself and, and, and color your drawing. You can, uh, well, well, food, fruit, uh, for example, fruit or even like crisps or whatever. You could easily, before you eat them, you know, get, get into drawing things you eat before you do that. So that just... I mean, we have plenty of time on hands now, so might as well make use of it, you know? So, simple things. I don't know that's all that occurs to me right now, but, um, and I've probably been talking too much anyway. So, uh, I don't know if I think about anything else, I might be back on screen, and I hope everybody is like, well, surviving this, you know, in, in a better shape, maybe doing things unexpected, maybe even liking the memory of these days passing because of what they achieved doing or they're doing, you know, it's the first times, you know, you say, oh, piece of paper, uh, pencil, anything, as I said, you know, you can draw with your food, you can draw your food, um, anything, you're totally, there's no restrictions on on what can be satisfying for you. I, I would not know that. I wouldn't be in the position to say, oh, this will be great and you will love that. But just experiment, try out things, you know, leave marks. That's what, what it's about. And even in a wider sense, I mean, that's probably what everybody wants to do in, in their life, you know, leave a mark, leave some kind of trace. Um, okay, keep it going, get that paper, get a pencil, get a eyeliner or you know you might even draw with a lipstick whatever you know just go for it make some marks mm -hmm.